What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, you guys. In this video, I'm going to be simply taking my buddy David Blair. Shout out to David Blair, top realtor in Florida, northern Florida. Um, just kicking butt and taking names and just kicking ass out there, man. So I'm going to be taking him through a simple setup of a Facebook video ad. Um, this is this is normally the, the second ad that I recommend people run. So when it comes to your Facebook ad account and, and just your overall strategy, the first ad that I always recommend is a like ad. So if you look at your Facebook business page or if you're a freelancer or an agency owner, and excuse me, I freaking got done running and shit. But if you're like a free uh, a freelancer or maybe an agency owner um, and you're servicing clients or just your own business, like if you look at your Facebook business page, how many likes do you have? That like count, a lot of people, um, um, they just overlook it. They overlook the fact that that's the first impression. When people land on your Facebook business page and they see 110 likes versus landing on my business page, for example, and seeing 10,000, that perception and that first impression goes a long way. Now, depending on your business, you may not necessarily need 10,000 likes, um, but you want a few thousand. You want a few thousand likes, run a like ad. That's ad number one. Ad number two is an intro video. So depend on your business, especially if you're a local business. I service a lot of local business owners, a lot of real estate agents, a lot of, a lot of small business owners, local, right? So if you're a local business owner, the second ad that I always recommend my clients do is pulling out your cell phone and simply introducing yourself. You're introducing yourself as if you're running for mayor, right, to, to your local community. Your background, your experience, your passion, you know, why you're so fired up to be doing what you're doing, why you love helping people do what you do, right? A simple intro video. This is the second ad that I always recommend business owners run. Um, it's a video view ad. So what I'm going to do with my buddy David Blair here is I'm going to walk him through from A to Z how to run this video ad. Okay, so this is his second ad in this campaign, and it's a simple intro video that we're gonna we're gonna use to target his local area to really warm up warm up the audience and most importantly capture a, a, a custom audience, which he'll be able to leverage and retarget in the future um, when he starts running conversion ads. Okay, so let me get my buddy on the line, and you guys hopefully you guys learn a lot. If you're new to the channel, subscribe smash the bell for notifications and drop me a comment below. Let me know what type of business you're building and let me know how I can bring value to what you're doing online. So let me bring on Mr. Blair. Give me one second. What's going on, boss? Hey, what's up, man? Your looks are getting better by the day, man. I know, right? I look really good today. <laughs> <laughs> my computer's in there updating. So no I'm, worries, on man. All good. I'm on fiance's computer. So I'm like, okay. Right All on, right. man. <laughs> it's all good. Well, happy Friday, man. Hopefully you had a good week. Let's yeah, yeah, going, so, going good so far. Yeah, were you able to knock out the video? I did, I did. Um, good, man. Where, where do I get to it at here? Let's see. Let me... Go ahead and, um, yeah, go ahead and share your screen. Okay, let me go back to that. Um, okay, awesome. Now? Yeah, so right here, just click on done. And then um, were you able to upload it to the business page already or not yet? Um, no, not yet. Okay, cool. So let's, let's do that. And that's always the first thing you'll want to do before you run the ad is, uh -huh. um, you'll always want to, especially a video ad. Um, you'll always want to, or video, I should say. Yes. Yeah. Video ad. You'll always yeah. want to upload it to the business page first and then, and then make sure all the editing, editing is taken care of as far as just the text, as far as the title of the video. And then, and then, and then also the thumbnail. Um, right. which I'll walk you through like okay. that whole setup process happens, happens first. And yeah. then once you do that, then we can come back and run the actual ad. Um, okay. And the reason why it's that way first is because when you go in, set up the ad, you can no longer change the text. Right. So okay. You want to make sure it's done prior. Okay, this is me. Let me go in here and I need to, I need to seem to save it real quick. I need yeah, to actually. Sure. Save it. Yeah, so we'll always just, you know, yeah, especially when it's done on the phone, just transfer it to your downloads on your computer and then mm -hmm. take it from there. You could also take it, you can also take it from your cell phone to your business page, just straight, yeah. you know, posting okay. like you would anything else. But the editing, you'll, you'll still want to do it from here, from, from your desktop or from your laptop, from a, from a, you know, computer like this. Because okay. as we go in, you I don't think you see mm -hmm. the same editing abilities on your cell phone. 
Okay. Which I'm going to show you right now on, on this computer. So. Okay. So where to now? Yeah. So let's just go ahead and what you can do is you can just um, upload it like you would a post, or you can just go to to more and go to video, videos, and then just just upload it from there. So you can okay. do it. Yeah, you can do it that way. Hit videos and then upload video. Yeah, we'll just hit that. And then um, so on a cell phone, I don't think you'll see what we're about to see right now as far as the thumbnail and the description and, and all that stuff. So once you upload it, we'll be able to play around with it. Yeah, see, perfect. So this is this is what we want right here. So the title, let me go ahead and go ahead and just open up another tab to the right. Leave this the way it is, but let's open up another tab to the very right and let's just go back to Facebook. So pull up Facebook, your 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 Facebook and, and then just go to the actual timeline or the yeah, the timeline or the newsfeed, I should say. Go to the newsfeed and let's just scroll through and let's just see a random ad real quick. I'm gonna show you where this title goes. Um so if you just scroll through and, and kind of just see what, you know, what your friends are posting and whatnot, and we'll see an actual sponsor ad eventually. So just keep going down. Go down, go down just a little bit more. Uh -huh. Yeah, this is actually a good example. Okay, so go down a little bit more, a little bit more, right below the video. We're looking for right below the video. So this right here, create your first marketing video. That's that's what what we see when we see the ad in in real time. Mm -hmm. That's what's what's placed below the video. So go back to the other tab. That's the title. So you only have so much room right there to write a title. So go back to your tab. So that's the okay. title. So that title is what's below that video. Okay. You know, because the way it, it looks here, it's kind of a little you know different. Yeah. You think the title is the actual title and above the video, the way it looks here. Right. When it runs, it's actually below. It's right okay. next to that learn more button. Okay. So here, man, it's just it's just keeping it simple, man, and, and just writing yeah. something basic, you know. Um, um just a simple intro of your of of who who I am or or I don't know if you saw those other examples that I sent you yesterday, I did. but I did mm -hmm. yeah, basic headlines, man. Nothing crazy at all. Um so whatever you're kind of thinking, maybe just freestyle off the top of your head. All we're doing is introducing myself or introducing ourselves and um, local realtor, been in the area for a while, wanted to personally introduce myself and kind of show you or, or let you know a little bit about my background and why I'm so excited to help people buy and sell residential real estate in the greater Northern Florida or something like that, you know? Right. Um, okay. uh, let's see. So title. The title could be something, again, it could be something as basic as, as um, just wanted to introduce myself, David Blair, your local realtor or something okay. like that, you know? Um, just wanted to introduce myself. Just wanted to introduce myself, and then and then everything else we'll put in the description below. Just wanted to introduce myself. Okay. And then um, here's a bit about me. Um, or or because there's so many different ways we can spin this, and and again mm -hmm. we don't want to overthink it. So um, just wanted to introduce myself. Um, You could put something as basic as my name is David Blair. I'm your local realtor. I've been in the area for X amount of years. And this is a brief video on why I'm so excited about helping people buy and sell residential real estate in the Northern Florida area or whatever. Um, my name is David Blair. I've been in, I've been, I've been your local realtor for the past or your local broker or agent or however you want to spin that. My name is David Blair. I've been your, your North Florida realtor for the past x amount of years for the past 20 years and now i'm bringing my business to social media okay. my name is david blair i've been your north florida realtor for the past 20 years and now i'm bringing my business to social media you'll be seeing me in my new in your news feed you'll be seeing me in your news feed over the next few weeks so comment like or share or let me see um let me see shit um my name is david blair i've been your your north florida realtor for the past 20 years and now i'm bringing my business to social media just wanted to introduce myself because you'll be seeing me often in your news feed or something like that um 
Yeah, cool. Okay. Yeah, that's simple, bro. Um, cool, man. And then and then tags are really not necessary because this is not really on or an organic post we're we're going to be running an ad on this and we're targeting our area so tags really aren't aren't the most important so you can click on that thumbnail to the right the little image and then it'll give uh -huh. you options of different stills of different thumbnails so you okay. can just kind of scroll through to the right and and pick you know pick one that where you're you're not looking too crazy just, right okay. you know nice little smile or just something serious or whatever you know yeah those are some cool ones Hmm, these all look crazy. The one in the middle right there is good. This? Or even the one to the right. Even the one to the left. They all look good, actually. All three of those. Right. Yeah, for sure. So then now we'll scroll down, and then we'll just we'll just smash that blue button right there at the bottom. So the we'll next. hit next. Here. Yeah. Okay. okay, cool. So So what we did there, yeah, you can go to publish. The title, we put the title, we put the description, which is the text, mm -hmm that becomes the actual ad. So again, we always want to double check that um, just to make sure, because you could have done this today and then we run the ad tomorrow, but mm -hmm. then all of a sudden you forgot a comma or a period or, or an exclamation mark or whatever, or you meant to write something different. Again, when we go and run the ad now, you're not going to be able to change anything. Right. So everything looks good the way it is. So yeah, we should be able to rock and roll now. So let's go ahead and, and it takes a few minutes for it to actually upload. So right. go ahead and go ahead and let's see, go ahead and refresh it. Let's see how long, and it all depends on how long the video is, but let's see if it's actually here yet. It might take a few more minutes, but we should be okay to run the ad. It should be there by the time we're, we're at that point. Scroll down a little bit. No, I think that's still the ad from the other day or the video from the There's other something day. below it. Actually, there might right. be something below it. Go ahead and go down a little lower. Okay, I'll see you there. Right. Perfect. We're good. Okay, cool. Right on, man. Okay. So um yeah, man. So I'm telling you, Dave, you could if you can keep keep stuff that simple, bro. I'm telling you, you look good on video, crisp the the, the quality is awesome. It's that basic, man. That's social media marketing. It's that basic. And so again, where everyone drops the ball, I've been doing this all damn day for the past five years with mm -hmm. real estate agents. Where 99% of people drop the ball is they is they don't stay consistent putting out that cup of, that that video, and it's that simple, and 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 I'll see agents go three four maybe maybe four maybe five the max like in a row like let's just go week to week to week and then all of a sudden you know shit happened and I get it everyone's busy like everyone's yeah. busy, but at the same time that video you could have been anywhere dude you could have been mm -hmm. anywhere and pulled out that phone and went on a rant for 57 seconds that does not take any i don't care how busy a person is that could mm -hmm. be done that could be done anywhere in the world i don't give a shit where you're at you know what i mean sure. you can pull out your damn phone and, and and tell me something you know so that's where you're gonna end up winning is if you can stay consistent and it's not it's not that every week you have to run a new video at all like there's gonna be some weeks where where, where that ad is popping and you're and you're capturing leads and the cost per lead is good enough and and your pipeline is good enough and you got you're busy enough and you may not have to roll out that next one mm -hmm. but but what i want you to do is just get in the habit build up the discipline to to just make a new video so for example today's friday that's your day yeah. every friday regardless if you're going to run that next ad or not every mm -hmm. single friday there needs to be a new video on this page okay and and talking about the same thing same thing mm -hmm. You know, and, 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 and there's always that call to action. There's always that call to action is to click learn more to download my free seller guide or buyer guide or whatever you want to put together. Mm -hmm. um, what are you going? Are you going seller or buyer? Uh, seller. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. so that should be the call to action at the end of every video. Now this okay. one, no call to action really. It's just the intro, but, right. but, but the yeah, next I didn't do it on this one. Okay, good. So the next video and on, there's always that call to action. Hey, by the way, guys, I put together a 2021 seller guide um, that you're really going to enjoy and get a lot of value out of. Click learn more. It'll take you straight to my webpage where you can download your free copy. See you guys soon. That's simple, man. That's simple. And it, again, the key is consistency. That's where, you know, that's where you're going to win it, Because if you can keep targeting that local market and they keep seeing your freaking handsome face, bro, they're going to freaking fall in love with you. Like they're going to fall in love. They're going to want to do business. They're going to like you. They're going to trust you. They're going to be like, damn, I keep seeing this guy. He keeps bringing me value. You know, and that's the thing about advertising, like just basic advertising 101. A person has to keep seeing you, you know, and in your case, there's a ton of stuff to talk about. So it's like, man, educate us, you know? So so, okay, cool. So the video's up. Let's go to the ads manager and let's run this bad boy. 
let's um just pull up the you have a folder do we have a folder yeah but i'm on a different i'm on a different oh, that's right that's right okay cool so no worries go to go to your facebook tab to the right open up that other facebook tab let's leave um, this one here that one oh, up that? straight up okay yeah this one yeah, that one. Yeah. So we'll okay. go go to the ads manager from here to the left, right down the left. Okay. Got it. Okay, cool. So over here, we're looking for the green button. And also when you come into the ads manager and when you're just you know randomly navigating through it, you always want to double check that you're in the right account. So see what happened here. They automatically took you by default. Go ahead and close this out. By default, you went to the David Blair one, you okay. know. So you always want to see that drop down. You always want to make sure you're in the you're in the right account. So let's go over to the other one. Hit that drop down, and you should see you should see the the northern one. So see more ad accounts. Perfect. There's the one right there. Okay, cool. So that's the one you'll be running everything out of. And and now all we'll do is just hit the green button and go video views. And then what we'll do right away also is um, we're having to narrow the time range. Yeah, that's that's you could just leave that leave that as this. So we'll just hit the green button, um, and then once we're done done with this, we'll go and create up an audience, create an audience real quick, a okay. custom audience, so we can start capturing all these viewers. So what the hell is this? Okay, awesome. Okay, so yeah, let's go ahead and good create. Yeah, we'll go ahead and create. Okay, good. So that like ad is going really good. Okay, perfect. Perfect. So now what we're going to do, and, and this will be the only one you do video views, like mm -hmm. you'll be putting out videos often from this point on. Um, but they're not video views. Okay, the mm -hmm. whole objective with this one is to simply introduce ourselves and target the market that we're going to be going after and warm them up Two two main objectives with this one ad is to warm up our audience so we can get our face out there and, and get our local you know area to, to start seeing our face. That's a warm up of the audience. And then also number two is a warm up of the ad account. So we want Facebook to hit the card, at least for the page like ad, hit the card for the video view ad. And then by the time we get onto conversions, which will be our third ad, that's, that's where we'll start capturing leads is conversions. So ad number three and on is all conversions. Um, but but at that point, we want Facebook to at least hit that card a couple times and charge it so we, we can be in good standings. Um, okay. So, and then also third is to, is, to get, is to capture the viewers of this video. So it's a 50 second, 57 second video. What we're going to want to do is capture the audience, create a custom mm -hmm. audience, which we'll do right after we do this part. We'll mm -hmm. create a custom audience of 25 percenters. Okay. So those who watched 25% of this 50 second video 57, 57 second video will go into a specific audience and we'll be able to use that audience to retarget in the future with conversion ads. Okay. So video views, and then we'll just actually, we'll scroll down. Let's scroll down. And we might as well just name them, name, name everything here. And then also, you know, actually X out of this real quick. Let me just explain these, this bottom drop down. Yeah. X out of that. So these are, this is what we're working with three tabs, campaigns, ad sets and ads. And that's all we're going to do is title everything. So hit the green one again. Those are the three titles. Um, you want to you want you want to be able to start getting specific with these videos and naming them, and we want to name the titles as well. So video views, and then just scroll down, and and we're going to give a name to each tab. There's three of them. So video views, scroll down, and then this first one, we'll just hit the drop down right there to the right, and then we'll name it. So scroll down, we'll see three um, lines here three boxes and we're going to name each one. So the campaign is video views, but it's our intro video. So we're going to go intro video and then we're going to, we're going to in parentheses, we're going to put video views again. And, and the reason for the titling is just so we, when we look at the dashboard, we can know exactly what that, what ad that is. So when I look at your dashboard right now, I can look at that first one that's on and automatically know it's a page like ad, because if I didn't name it, I'd have to click into it to see what ad it is. I'd rather just name it properly and view it from this this perspective so video views and then and then the second one will be the ad set title the name of the ad set i normally title it there the area we're targeting so whether it's a town whether it's a city whether it's it's a county um that's normally what i name that so again so when i look at it from this view i can know okay that ad is going to this area okay. um and i don't have to click into it to really look any further mm -hmm. so whatever city or county or town or whatever you're whatever you want to call it go to name it there jacksonville perfect 
And then the third one is just the ad. So I'll just I'll just copy the intro video video views. I'll just copy that and name it the third the, the third the third one down as well. Same. Yeah, okay. copy that and then just bring it bring it down. Okay, cool. So um so that's just simply titling everything and then and then we'll go continue and then we'll go on to the next the next step, which is still the first tab, but mm -hmm. it's where we choose housing and the campaign budget. You're like, screw it, let me just type the damn thing. I know it's just that her her tracker is is like you almost have to when you get a tap, mm -hmm. it's almost like you're trying to pound on it just to get it to accept. Mm. Uh, okay. Um, okay, cool. So over here, now we're going to see the um, the housing. So you'll always want to go special ad category. You'll always turn that thing on. So it says off, go ahead and just shut. You can leave that top part. There's nothing there, but it's that off button. So go ahead and toggle okay. that gray to blue. Yeah, you'll always, 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 in your case with housing, with real estate, mm -hmm. that always has to be blue. Okay. And then you hit that drop down and go to housing. So you'll choose housing and um, in the drop down and then and then we'll scroll down. Yeah, perfect. And then just go ahead and X out that image or that video that's at the bottom where it says show all. Go ahead and just hit that X so we can get rid of this bottom part. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. Okay, cool. So now scroll down, go ahead and click out of that and just we'll go down and we'll make sure that this is off campaign budget optimization. Okay, perfect. That's off. Um, we don't need that on. We can always make sure that that's off. Sometimes by default, especially when we go into conversion ads, that will be on. You'll just always want to turn it off. Um, and then we'll hit next. And that's it. And that's tab number one. So up here, the top left, you have your intro video. That's tab one. That's the campaign objective. And then and then now we're in the second, second step where we'll actually put in the map Jacksonville. So we'll scroll down just a bit. Title is already there. We don't need dynamic creative. Um, and let me explain what dynamic creative is as well, because in, in the future, I'm, I'm trying to teach you and trying to get you in the habit of just video. Like I'm mm -hmm. trying to just have you master the art of how basic and simple this freaking video can be and how effective it can be. But every now and then, if you end up running an image ad, like mm -hmm. a lot of times, you know, um, yeah, especially real estate agents, they'll put images out. You have a listing, there's an image of a listing, right? And then people try to run an ad on, on that listing. Dynamic creative is when you actually give Facebook multiple images. So we're running one ad, but we're going to give Facebook, and, and I'm not referring to posting because you see sometimes, you know, especially with an agent or a broker, you'll, you'll see a post that they're promoting an open house, a listing, and they, and they, and they put up 15 mm -hmm. different images, right? In their post. And when you click on it and not an ad, I'm talking about just your friend on Facebook, they're just posting their open house and they have 17 images of the damn, of the damn property, right. you know? Not like that. What I'm saying is dynamic creative is when you when you give Facebook a handful of images and you're running one ad and Facebook just simply sorts through the images to find which one people are engaging with the most. Okay. So, so it's not a post of 17 images on one post like every agent would do. Mm -hmm. It's just giving Facebook multiple images and they're just running them behind the scenes. So when I see that ad, if I was just a random consumer in that area and I see that ad, I'm only seeing one image. Mm -hmm. But but maybe maybe five hours later, I see the ad again, and it's a different image, mm -hmm. right? Same property, but different right. image. That's dynamic creative, where you're just giving Facebook the ability to 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 sort through images to see which one pops. Mm -hmm. And then right. after three days, we look at the analytics, and we're and, and we can say, okay, we gave Facebook four images, but it's that one image of the front where everyone's engaging. So we turn off the other three images, and we put all the budget towards that one. Got it. That's dynamic creative. So um, daily budget, what I normally do is I, I normally go lifetime budget. Daily budget is exactly what it is. You're capping and you don't have to go 20. In this case with the video, you can go 10 bucks. You can go five bucks a day. Um, where you kind of want to go minimum is at least 10 bucks. But here's the difference. I need to change this or not? Yeah, go ahead and change it. Because with daily, it's exactly that. Mm -hmm. And and maybe maybe take the... Take the um, well, actually, let me explain this real quick. Daily is 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 capping it at ten bucks a day, but right. but every every day the traffic on Facebook is a little different. So if, sure. if that ad was really going good, Facebook could have probably spent thirteen bucks that day, but you capped mm -hmm. them at ten. 
right? Right? Or or, right. or maybe the traffic's super slow, and, mm -hmm. and really only only eight dollars was effectively spent, but you forced them to spend ten. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So so rather than capping them on a daily, I just go lifetime. It's the same budget. So if I'm going to spend ten bucks a day for ten days, I'll just go lifetime and put a hundred. Okay. Okay. So, um, and that's, and then, so, and, and then also this is the first ad. So this is the first intro and the way you kind of want to look at this, a good way to look at it is look at your overall monthly budget, like what you plan on putting towards Facebook ads in a given mm -hmm. month. I always say minimum, minimum should be at least, at least 300 a month minimum where you're at 10 bucks a day and you're mm -hmm. running an ad $10 a day and there's 300 a month. So based on that example, if mm -hmm. that's our budget, 300 a month, mm -hmm. and, and, our, and our goal is to put out a new video every week, mm -hmm. again, sometimes we may not need to push that second video out. Sometimes this first one's doing, doing quite fine. Mm -hmm. But if we just you know, make that like part of our, our, of our strategy where a new video goes out every week and our budget's 300, that's 75 a week on this one ad, mm -hmm. right? So that's how I would kind of look at this, where, where this is one of four. So mm -hmm. if we got 300 over the next three, 30 days, this is one of four, mm -hmm. and that would be a $75 lifetime budget okay. for the next seven days, for example. You know what okay. I mean? So change that to that? Okay. It could be, or, or you could go 100. I mean, it's totally up to you. Like it, yeah. 75 yeah, we'll try, I like this. I like that range. We'll try with that. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And then so now what we'll do is we'll go start date. Mm -hmm. I always choose the next day. You'll always want to go the next day. So this way, Facebook has plenty of time to review that ad, to approve that ad, and have that ad ready to go. And and what I do is I go six a.m. So you all, and in your case, this Pacific time. So why don't you do why don't you do three a.m. three a.m. Pacific? That'd be six a.m. Eastern. So just go three a.m. right here, and and you're good. So you'll go three a.m. on the start time. You'll go three a.m. on the end time. Um, and then, and then change out that April 5th. To what end date? Yeah. So, so we're going, what we're going, we're going, um, we're going six to the 13th. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Cool. And then 3 AM and then we're good. Okay, cool. So let's scroll down and then down here is where we're going to choose the actual city. Um, is that what you call it? Cities? Is Jacksonville an actual city or what do you guys call it? County? It is, town? Yeah, it's a city. City. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. So, so in the future, let's say this was, let's say this was ad number. Th this is technically, this is ad number two, right? We got the page like ad going. We got this. We, we're, we're now about to set this intro video ad to go. Let's say this was ad number three, where we're actually now going for leads. We're now promoting our seller guide. Click learn more, download my damn guide. Ad number three. By the time we get to ad number three, right here, we're going to be able to click inside of custom audiences right there where it says search existing audiences. Go ahead and click. Right here on ad number three is where you'll click and then you'll see your custom audience. So if, if, if spring cleaning was the video that we want to retarget, then you would choose it there. Okay. So, so um, what we're going to do after this is we're going to set up a, an, an audience, a custom audience of intro video viewers, 25%. And then we'll just hit that drop down and, and choose it there. Now, by the time we get to ad number four, so from, from ad number four and on, what you'll always want to do is retarget the 25 percenters. So you'll just, you'll just hit the drop down. You'll see custom audiences. You'll see you're in the all section, but if you just go custom audience, you'll see your actual custom audiences right here. Um, and you'll always from ad number, ad number, ad number three and on, you'll always want to retarget your 25 percent of viewers, but then also from ad number, from ad number four and on, from ad number four and on, you'll always want to exclude your custom audience of leads. So if you click out and you just look right below, yeah, just click right there, click, let's get right, right. a drop down. Oh, okay. Which yeah. One? So just click right there. Yeah. Click anywhere. Actually, click more towards the oh, middle. Okay, I got you. Yeah, right there. So scroll okay. up a bit. Now you'll see right below that drop down, we'll see the ability or the option to exclude. Okay. So, so if I click exclude, if you click exclude from ad number four and on, because what I'm thinking is ad number three, we'll start capturing a few leads by the time mm -hmm. we're on ad number three, our, our conversion ad. So if we start capturing leads on ad number three, by the time I go to ad number four, go ahead and click exclude. By the time I go to ad number four, 
what I'm going to start doing now, and this is from ad number four and on, what I'm always going to want to do is I'm going to want to exclude the custom audience of people who landed on my thank you page. Okay. So if I, if I click in that drop down, search existing audiences, we're going to set up a specific audience. And that's why the Karcher pages are so important because mm -hmm. we're going to be able to take the thank you page. I'll click, I'll see my, my custom audience of seller guide leads. And that's exactly what we'll name it. Seller guide leads. And those are folks, those are all the people who landed on my thank you page. So that's when I'll start excluding that audience, because if you already opted in, you don't need to keep seeing my ads. You know what I mean? So, right. um, but you're going to always keep seeing my ads because you're watching 25%, but it's the moment you opt in, that's when I'm excluding you, you know? So, mm -hmm. um, so that's the, the custom audiences include exclude super important. That's where your ROI is at. That's a, that's, that's the other, the other place where, where every realtor gets it wrong. It's because they only run a, a couple ads expecting, you know, freaking the world to, 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 to be handed to them. And, and it doesn't happen that way. You have to run a few ads to capture these audiences. We have to run a few ads to make sure that we're, we're retargeting these audiences. It's all about your retargeting, man. It's all about your retargeting. Um, so now let's go to locations. We'll hit the drop down on, on, or excuse me, the edit. Yeah, to the right. And then we'll X out of United States and we'll put in Jacksonville. And, and, and depending on how big your, your, you know, your area of, of where you're doing business and farming, um, with Facebook, what changed is the ability to, with housing specifically, what changed is the ability to, to target gender. You have to tar target both. You cannot um, um, target a specific age. You have to target all age. And then, and then you can no longer target zip code. Mm -hmm. um, and you can no longer target the keyword homeowner. Mm -hmm. So now with real estate, with housing, You'll want to just stick to more of a broad, but even even broad is still my local backyard, like Jacksonville. It's a it's a needle on it's a pin drop on a map. You know what I mean? So so you don't want to take it in any further than that. Jacksonville, 15 miles is the minimum. You can go max 50 if you want. Mm -hmm. But but what I'm saying is you cannot narrow it down any further than that. You can't narrow it down to the the word homeowner. You cannot narrow it down to a zip code, nor do you need to. Like take over the whole damn city. You know, and, 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 and if, if 50 is not really what we need, okay, cool. 15, mm -hmm. you know, and, and that's why I would, and, and, and how I really, so this is, so this is doing, so Jacksonville is going within, like if I put in 50 miles, it's going Jacksonville and then 50 mile radius outside of that. Watch, put in 50 and then scroll down and you'll see it on the map. So go ahead and type in 50, hit enter. And then scroll down and you'll see the radius. You'll see what it covers. Yeah, that's that's our whole area actually because I live actually here in St. Augustine. Perfect. And my perfect. office is like true. I mean, this is only like 30 minutes from each other. That's it right there, man. So that's yeah. that's your target market. Okay. You can literally dominate that mar market, man, with a handful of videos. Take over the whole area. Perfect. Okay, cool. So then that that that's it. Jacksonville 50 50 miles. So now okay. let's scroll down. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to, again, we'll see gender, we'll see age, you can no longer change it. And then the detailed targeting, again, that's where most will try to target and narrow it in even further. But you don't need to do that. What we'll want to do is change, at least change the language. Like, let, let's at least narrow it down to English all. So hit the edit on, on language. And let's just go English all. Yeah, now, the, yeah, hit the, the, yeah, hit edit. Okay. And then you'll just type in English and you'll see English all. So when it comes to the detail targeting, the, dem the demographics, the, just go all, English all. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, English Perfect. all. That we just ca capture anyone who speaks, you know, any English. So what a lot of people try to do is they'll try to hit the detail targeting, the demographics, the interest, the behavior, and they'll put in all types of keywords related to real estate. Mm -hmm. When, again, you don't need to because because we're, we're just focused on this one area. Let everyone, you know, see the ad. So automatic placements, you'll always want to leave it on there. You don't need to manual place it. Um, scroll down. And that's all there. That's all there. We're good. So now we go next. So that is the second tab. That's the ad set level. Um, now we come to the final and third level, which is the third step. And that's the ad. So over here, again, as I mentioned earlier, the reason why we wanted to post it on the business page first and make sure all the edits were done, because now as we come here, we can no longer edit. Okay, so we're going to just simply grab that post and run it as the ad. So right here, 
We always want to double check, make sure that's our page. We're good there. So now down where it says add setup, you're going to hit that drop down, create ad. We're going to go use existing post. So hit that drop down, use existing post. And all we're going to do is select. So if you scroll down just a bit, you'll see select and we'll select that post. So go ahead and click that and it'll pull up your, your actual videos over here. And there it is there. So you just click on that first one, hit continue and we're good. So if you hit continue and then what we're going to do is we'll just add a button. Um, this is not a miss a, a lead ad. So the call to action button is really not going to be smashed at all, but mm -hmm. we'll put it there just to, just to fill this, fill the space. So if you scroll down, let's go ahead and, and hit, um, add button. That's the call to action button. So, so from, from ad number, ad number three and on, right? Mm -hmm. Our next ad, we're shooting for conversions. We're shooting for getting people to that landing page. So if you click on call to actions that learn more, that's what you're going to always want to go with. But in mm -hmm. this case, there is no, there is no learn more button. We don't need to learn more. We'll just do something simple as, as, as send message. Mm -hmm. So if, if someone wants to send a message, they'll do it, but that's not what Facebook's optimizing the ad for. Okay. We're, we're running specifically for views. That's what this is, video views. So update mm -hmm. post. And then we're good. So if you if you scroll down, you'll you'll see it to the right hand side what it looks like. So now you'll see your title right below that video. So there goes your title just wanted to introduce myself. And so that's how much real estate you have, you have only that small amount of area. Mm -hmm. So just in the future, as you're writing out your future titles, don't make it too long. Right. Mm -hmm. So that's you. about as long as you want it just wanted to introduce myself. Okay. And then there goes that send message button. So if you scroll down towards the left, we're pretty much good to go. We'll want, we want to make sure that the, the pixel is either here or, or not. It really doesn't matter, but scroll down to the left, right below this message one? template. Yeah, you know, we'll go down a little bit further. More towards the left. This one or not? No, we want to, right where it says message template to the left, there, we can go down a little bit more over there. Okay, I guess. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Okay, so this right here, we don't really need any of that because it's not it's not going to be that type of ad uh, conversations. So scroll down more, more, more. We should see just the, the last part, the tracking. Okay, we're good. We're good with all that. Perfect. Okay, cool. So now just hit publish and that's it, man. And so when you hit publish, this also is, is a, is a um, we have the ability to look at it in, in real time, what it's going to look like in the actual newsfeed. So it's always cool real quick to just pull it up and, and take a look at it. So let this thing publish and then it'll reset. And then what we'll do is right, right above, a little bit up where your cursor's at, you see that drop down. So that square and then that drop down. Click sure. on that. Yeah. And then scroll down. Go ahead and click that. And then go down to desktop newsfeed. So this right here will just give us a real view Facebook desktop newsfeed. We'll have a real live snapshot of what that ad's going to look like. So if you just scroll through and just kind of see what your friends are up to, everyone's posting and, and just scroll through, you'll, you'll come across your actual ad. So slow down just a bit. There we go. Perfect. So that's what it looks like in the newsfeed. Okay, cool. Cool, man. So you're good. So now let's do our last step. So let's go to the ads okay. manager and we're going to, um, and see, here's another thing too, man. Go back real quick. Here's another, another good, good thing to keep in mind. You got three lines right there, right? My name is David Blair, past 20 years, wanted to say hello. Three lines. If you would have went one more, it would have said see more. And then that person would now have to click to see the fourth line. Okay. So so knowing how much real estate you have is always good because mm -hmm. trying to fit your message in in those three lines is kind of mm -hmm. what you want to do. Okay. And then and then knowing again, knowing how much real estate you have, we just wanted to introduce myself at the bottom. That's kind of, you could have probably put maybe one more word, but, but it would, mm -hmm. it would have cut off. You would have seen, okay. we would have seen dot, 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 right. Okay. It would have been, it would have been dot, dot, dot right after that last word. And we may not have even seen the full word, but okay. that's, that's exactly what you're working with right there. Perfect. So now let's do one last thing. Let's go to the ads manager and we're going to simply X this out. Uh, the whole thing. No, to the left, no. this window right here. Yeah. Just this section. Oh, this yeah. one. There we go. Perfect. 
Okay, cool. So now these are our three tabs. That's exactly what we went through, right? So what you'll do is just one selected, start with the right-hand side, the ads, that's the tab to the right, the third tab, just hit that one selected, that X and just X that out. So this right here is what's in, in review is, is the one? third one. Yeah, you can X that out. Mm -hmm. And then now it says in review. So that's the only one that Facebook is reviewing is the mm -hmm. video. Um, and then if you click on the middle tab, you can, you can see it over here, so it'll say scheduled. So the middle tab is already approved. That mm -hmm. step is already is already approved. Go ahead and click right there. The X that out? No, just click on the ad set, click on the tab. Oh, okay. Yeah, right there, perfect. And then you'll see it scheduled. So that's already good to go. And then just okay. one selected, X that out, the blue. Um, and then let's go to the, the, the first tab to the left, campaigns. Let's click on that and that should say scheduled as well. And you're good there, so one selected. So you'll get an email within the next few hours. Um, mm -hmm. By, by, by later on this evening. Um, and that email will come from Facebook and it'll say, um, your ad is scheduled or running. Okay. That's the exact subject line. Your ad is scheduled or running. So you could just, you could just X out of that, the one selected. And so you're good there, man. And that, and that's why I love setting up the calendar. So I don't mm -hmm. have to micromanage it. Like just let the damn thing run. It'll shut off when it shuts off. And then let's just, you know, really start preparing for that next, that next video, which, which should be in seven days from today. Okay. You know, so now let's do this. Let's create this audience. Um, let's hit the, the dots to the left and then let's go down to audiences. Um, you'll see it right at the, yeah, if you, yeah, there you go. Perfect. So click on audiences and all we're going to do is create an, a custom audience It's set up this audience now. So mm -hmm. Facebook can start putting all these, all these viewers in this, in this audience. And then what we'll do also, we should have a, um, let me see. If you can, if you can jump on my Karcher call on Monday at, three, okay. at at 4 p.m. Eastern, I'll email you regarding that. But um, that's when we'll jump on. And that's when I just do a do a full blown Q&A on Kartra. But that's kind of our next step is, is making sure that those pages are all all put together, um, making sure our seller guide is uploaded to the to the to Kartra. Um, mm -hmm. Because, because, yeah, that we're going to we're going to need that. And it's, it, we're going to need that. And it's super basic, super basic. We're only working with really three pages, actually, your, your landing page, your thank you page, and then your call confirm page. But we'll, we'll want to get at least a few of them up. Actually, we'll want to get all of them up because then what, what, what we'll need to do next is come create custom audiences of those links. The link for the landing page, the link for the thank you page, the link for the call confirm page. Those three links need to be custom audiences as, as well. Okay, so right now we'll just do the video. So let's click the blue button, create audience. And then we'll hit custom audience and then we'll just um, grab this video. So we'll click on video. So the next time around for the Karcher pages will be website. We'll go website um, for the next ones, but this one's video. So we'll just um, go ahead and choose a content type, hit that drop down, and we'll go 25%. Cool. And then to the top right, you'll see choose videos. And all you do is just click on that and then you'll um, choose that video and then just hit confirm. Perfect. We're good. Okay, cool. And then we'll name it. So we'll just um, scroll down just a bit and you see audience name and you can leave 365. That's fine. So just go to name it. And this is intro video, intro video, and then in parentheses, 25%. Perfect. So, so again, and go to create audience. So as I, as I mentioned in, in the second step, the ad set, you can click done. When we went, when we were looking at the custom audience, the include, the exclude. So now as you go to your next ad, if you were to click in the custom audience on the include one on the second tab, the ad set, you would now see this audience. So for your next ad and on, you'll then be able to retarget this audience. So if you scroll down just a bit, you'll see it right below. And you can minimize this whole top part. If you hit that drop down in the top right, um, this whole entire three step, no down, low down, right oh, there. One. Yeah, right there. So if you click that, it just kind of minimizes it a little bit. So there, there goes that audience. Um, and so right now it's showing below 1000 because there's, you know, no one's hit it yet. Um, but once that ad starts to pop, then that viewer count will will increase and and it, and it's already ready it's already ready but we'll use that for future ads so so again from ad number three and on you'll start creating these custom audiences 
every video, you'll always create a, a custom audience and you'll want to name that video. So this one's intro video, very simple, but, but start, start thinking of little, little, little random names for your videos, because you'll want to title them and know exactly what video that was, you know, just like you did with spring cleaning, exactly like that, you know, name these videos um, because, because these, these videos, these 25 percenters, you'll always want to retarget. I'll be retargeting an intro video 25% on my 15th ad. I'm always retargeting these viewers. And then again, I'm always excluding anyone in the custom audience who landed on my lead page, on my thank you page, because that's a lead. So I'll always exclude those from, from seeing ads. You know, so it's always including and then excluding the leads. Okay. Okay. So that's that, man. So let that thing run. Um, any questions whatsoever on this? Um, none on this. On the, I did have one question on the. Um, I can't remember the the agent's name that you had you had sent me a on like our first call. You had um, mm -hmm. directed me to our Facebook page, and I went to it. And this one we were setting up all the the Instagram, Twitter, those those kind of things. When you went on to her page, it automatically popped up the. Uh, the chat box um, with different questions. I mean, I don't, I don't know how to set it. Is that, where do I set it? Is that set up on the business page or? Yeah. Let me, let me show you that real quick. Okay. Go Yeah. Go ahead and go to your business page and we'll, we'll look at that real quick, but we're good on that side, right? The custom audiences yeah. and, and yeah. the video. Awesome. I'm great with that. That's how you run a video view ad, man. Okay. 